Today we will be showing you how to do cloth simulation. We'll be creating a flag. You can use this to do other things like uh, towels, uh, clothing, curtains, anything that needs fabric simulation. We'll be using different ways to affect the simulation and we'll be texturing it. I'm uploading this video just because today I also did my fluid simulation introduction, so let's get started, shall we? So first of all, making sure we're in orthographic mode, I'm gonna go to front view, I'm gonna insert a mesh plane, I'm gonna grab it in the Z direction so that it's in line with the floor, so exactly one unit. I'm gonna bring it along the x-axis one unit so it's lined up with our axes and now I'm just gonna simply go into edit mode and I'm gonna grab with the box tool this side and I'm just gonna stretch it into some sort of a flag shape something like that okay Next, we are going to subdivide it into a bunch of little squares, not rectangles, but squares. So that way, our simulation has more vertices to work with because how the simulation works is it simulates as if it simulates from every single vertice. So, if you only had these four vertices, it would basically just kind of flop down like a flat piece of fabric and it wouldn't at all so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a bunch of loop cuts that is the easiest way to create square faces so create a whole bunch so that has lots to work with I'm gonna keep it slightly less though so it's faster leave them in the center and then do it the other direction and again and in the other direction, do, like you said, make it a number so that they're square, not rectangle. So about right there. As you can see, if we zoom in, we have nice squares. So now we have way more vertices for it to work with, and the simulation will be more realistic. We could also add a subsurf modifier, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it like this. Next, we're going to add our flag texture. So we're going to split the window and we're gonna open up our UV slash image editor and then back over in 3D view we're gonna select all and we're gonna hit U and unwrap and that will unwrap it for us now we're gonna open an image so we're gonna find my flag so I've just got this flag that I downloaded off Wikipedia so it allows Creative Commons use so I can use it as long as I'm not making commercial use of it and so we just need to scale it up so that everything is in the right way sorry that's so now we need to scale it along the Y so that it matches so we'll do it about like that that should fit I believe so now we're gonna add our cloth simulation so hit cloth and we're just gonna leave it like this for now however there's a few things you can change uh, there are some presets cotton denim leather rubber silk for example but we're gonna do this our own way um, the first thing you want to do number one is under cloth collision hit self collision that way it won't go through itself that's very important next we need to pin it otherwise it's just gonna fall as a piece of cloth so hit pinning and it's gonna want us to select a group of vertices now we don't have any set so let's set one in edit mode let's click on the object data tab which looks like a triangle I guess and under vertex groups let's create a new vertex group and let's call it pinned side you can call it whatever you want, flag, pull, whatever. And with the box selection tool, I'm just going to select these vertices and hit assign. Now that creates those vertices are a group. And if we go into weight mode, you can see that that's where it's going to stay stationary and the rest will interact with the simulation exactly the same. So go back to our physics tab and under pinning, select our pin side. And now if we were to play this, I'm going to open up my timeline here. If we were to play this, it would do something like this. 
So kind of neat, but not 100% realistic, but it works for now. So I'm going to leave all the settings as they are for now, and we're going to add some wind. So in front view, let's pick our, let's move our cursor to center, and let's add a force field, and let's add some wind. Now it's pointing in the wrong direction, so we need to go into top view, and we need to rotate it that way so negative 90 now it's pointing towards our flag and in again front view well you're gonna move it up so it's basically in line with the flag and back a bit however the problem with this is is as you can see it is straight on with the flag straight on so our wind will have no effect on that so what you need to do is just rotate it down a little bit and that way it will have an effect on the flag more so and also the strength of one is extremely low I've done some experimentation pick somewhere around 725 just play with it a bit and uh, let's see what happens now when we play it there we go so as you can see the wind has picked it up and it's blowing it around and it looks like it's a fairly windy day you can play with the wind force as and choose how much you want as you can see it's quite strong so it looks like a fairly windy day one thing I forgot to do is add a material and set up the texture so we can actually see the flag so I'm gonna do that quickly but I'll skip over it since we did that in another video Okay, so now I have it textured and UV unwrapped, and now when we hit play, we can see what it kind of looks like. So that's the basics of it, and when you go back to your cloth tab, chain, you can change settings like the mass to make it do different things. For example, if I went down to point 0.1, we would see something different happen you would see now it doesn't drag down as much now the wind has more effect on it because the fabric essentially weighs less you can play with the structural settings a bit to make it uh, get affected more or less you know something like that is just a nice little ripple effect and dampening so the higher it is the smoother it is if I turn it way up as you'll see my frames per second is going down now but you'll see now it it's a lot smoother but if we turn it back down to say like 0 0.2 when we go to our next one you'll see that now it's not quite so smooth so you can play around with those settings so you can see all the settings I've used here and it creates a more flag look to it I'll let it play through once here and that's really all there is to it you can affect or you can change where and what vertices you pin and you can also use the paint the weight paint mode to affect how much it affects different parts of your cloth and you can use that to create like I said curtains and other kinds of things that are made of cloth in animations or renders so if we pick just a random frame and hit render you can see that there we go we have a nice little flag that's flapping in the wind and if we create a nice little flag pull it look nice and good so that's all there is to thanks for watching from the team here at blendertech.com again that's blendertek.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more blender unity 3d and programming videos we try to add from 3 to 10 a day if you dislike this video for some reason please leave a comment or email the team at info at blendertech.com as to what you did not like and what we can improve on. We also take requests for tutorials, so let us know what you want or want more of. See you next time, and remember, create your way.